Welcome to the Accounting Guys YouTube channel. My name is Blake, and today we'll be talking about some Lightspeed tips and tricks and how you can use them to navigate Lightspeed like a pro. Brian will be your trainer today. Hope you enjoy. So here along the top, we have a menu bar uh, that uh, shows us the different modules that are available in Lightspeed. If you don't have access to everything you can see here along the top, it might be an access issue where you might have to grant yourself more privileges or access or ask somebody to get you that access. Uh, it might also be something you, you haven't subscribed to Lightspeed for, so you'll want to reach out to your Lightspeed sales rep. Uh, once you're inside of your menu, then you have a, you click on it, it has a drop down. You can then continue to go through those drop downs and it will take you to different sections of the report. So the first tip with navigating in Lightspeed is you may not know the exact file path to get to the report you want to see. Up at the very top right of the screen, you have a quick search. This is going to be where you can click and it will show you the path to get to any of these reports in here. It's kind of like an index from A to Z. So if you're wanting to look up, uh, for example, you'll hear the term aging reports. Here I've got my AP aging, my AR aging, and my rental aging reports. And it tells you it's inside the payables menu and under reports, that's where you find AP aging. And then receivables menu, reports, AR aging. You can also click on it here and it will take you to be able to run that report as well. The second tip we have down here is on the bottom right, you have a couple indicators here that that assist you with working. So right here we have a stoplight. If it's green, it means go, red is stop. When you click on it, it's gonna tell you if there's an issue. Uh, we'll go over this in another video of what this means and how to correct this. Uh, but if you have a stoplight, this is when you need to learn how to remap, fix some different things, maybe calling Lightspeed or calling us. We can help you getting your system back into green. Um, the next one here is our task viewer. So this little blue cog wheel in the bottom right corner, this is our task viewer. So as you run reports in Lightspeed, it's going to save them here for about seven days. And all you need to do is come in and click on it again. It will pop up that report. So you don't have to print it and then close it, go look at something, come back to it. You know, you can just keep them in your task viewer and continue to pop back up to that report. The next thing that we're going to look at is along the top here, you can see where it says assign buttons, one through nine and zero here. It's saying assign the button. If you left click on it, it's gonna tell you how to assign that button. You click on the drop down and you right click what you like to see and then you assign it a button. So if you like to look at those aging reports and you don't wanna to have to navigate to it all the time, you go to receivables, we'll go to reports and see AR aging. You're gonna right click on it and then assign it to button one. So all I have to do is click that and it will take me to that report. Next, we're gonna look at the management activity screen. So here along the top, we have Lightspeed kind of divided in two separate sections. So part sales, service, and rental. This is how you perform all of the sales in Lightspeed and you're recording revenue and, and cost of goods sold. Um, after that, this is what we refer to as the back end of the system or the accounting side where it gives you different reports and you can review the reports and see where things are going and more of the accounting end. So in management activity, we're gonna go to management activities. This is going to show you uh, a filter here along the top. Uh, right now we're looking at successful documents and we're looking at all, of, all types of sales and anything that has happened in the system. If I hit clear, I can then look at something specific and say, I wanna look at all of my sales deals and here I have them by date along this side. And you can see the deals, if we finalize something, unfinalized it, looks like we have one with an error here um, that we can look at as well. Uh, when you click on the blue link, that will take you to that sales deal so that you can work at it from the front end. If you double click on the other piece of the line, it's gonna open up the management activity document. Uh, in here, it's going to show you timestamps for when was the journal entry date, so that's your document date, when did we actually do this in real life? That's your transaction stamp. And who did it? Who is the cashier? Who's the salesperson? Who's your customer? And then down here, it's going to show you the accounting that happened behind it. In another video, we'll go more into depth as how to read this report and why it's going into here. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is Lightspeed has keyboard shortcuts built into it. Okay, so we're gonna open up a menu option and you can see that there's a little underline under these letters in here. And what that means is you can hold down Alt on your keyboard and, and type that 
key on your keyboard and it will then select that for you. And you'll find in different places within Lightspeed this functionality and it does tend to speed up the work. Um, here I have a list of keyboard shortcuts. So your F keys on the top of your keyboard do some different things. And then this explains the underlines and how you can use those buttons. And then there's a few other ones with when you're using control with navigating between windows. Uh, this is also going to be included in the uh, comment sections for you to be able to download it and print it if you would like to show your team. Another tip that you can do to better navigate Lightspeed is you can customize your view of Lightspeed. So what do I mean by that? So let's go inside of estimates and repair orders. And here along the top, we have the, our field options, uh, customer name, repair order number, what is our date, and, and the different options here. You can right click on that blue bar and it will show you more options that you can bring into your view. You can also click on the top right corner of this little button here. It's got these three lines and it'll do the same thing. So you can customize it and say, I don't care as much about who the service writer is. I don't, I don't care about the category, you know, I, but I do want to see where the notes are. I want to see, uh, I don't, you know, maybe don't need e signature. Maybe I want to see the customer's email address. And this view is now your own custom view. And you can also click and drag these and reorder them based off of how you would like to see them. This only changes your window, your, your view as an individual user. It does not change it for the entire dealership. So feel free to customize it as much as you want in order for you to better navigate the system. One more little tip here is along the top is you've got this little black arrow. If you click on that little carrot, then it's going to open it up and you'll see that there's more options for you to be able to uh, click on and off and uh, be able to filter it that way. Uh, it will go over to sales deals and show you another one. Same thing, we have that little carrot and it will have different things for you to sort. So you don't have to run a report in Excel or something else in order to filter through the data. I want to show you my favorite part about Lightspeed, my favorite navigation tip to give my clients. And that's when you open up a window at the top right corner, you have this little green arrow. If you click on it, it's gonna pop it out into its own window. That way you can move it over to its own monitor and you can work on multiple monitors at the same time. And you're not limited as to how many windows you can have open. Uh, you can go ahead and pop as many open as you need to and then to put it back, you just hit that same arrow and it will take you back into the main display. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any video recommendations or you have some light speed tips and tricks you'd like to share, go ahead and leave those down below in the comments. We love hearing from you guys as well as those are our favorite videos to make. If you want one-on-one -on -one trainings or you want to ask some clarifying questions, there's a link down below to schedule a meeting with one of our dealership specialists as well as an email that you can contact us with. Thanks for watching.